and I'm gonna see if I can't just easily swap out the tracks for tires. A hobbyist or somebody interested in doing this may be thinking, okay, what do I do with the snowblower? All I'm interested in is the tracks. What am I gonna do with the rest of that thing? Well, I'm gonna see if I can't put tires on it and then put it back on Craigslist and sell it and uh, just keep the tracks since that one runs. The other one, this one I'm gonna have to haul to the scrap yard. All right, let's see how easy or difficult it is to just take tracks off with the intention of putting tires back on the axle. So that's a half inch fine threaded bolt. Another half inch. Okay, that piece comes off. And then this. Wow, that was loose. I did not pre-loosen that. Wow, that came out unbelievably easily. Okay, that one was easy. Now the one in the front, that one is more obscured. Okay, that comes out. Okay, now this track comes out. Okay. Okay, now let's get this sprocket off. Okay, there's that. There's a pin right here. Hairpin, because this piece comes off. That should come off now. Yes, it does. Okay. It's actually going to end up this way. Okay. So we got to cut some plastic, but we kind of knew that already. So we're going to cut back here, cut here, and I think we're going to go all the way up here. Cut out some of this sloppy epoxy repair job that was done at one point in time. As well, I can't just discard this piece of plastic because it covers up all the belts. You don't want snow and stuff getting in there. So I'm just going to do a more precision cut right there. But then the issue becomes, how do we solve the problem when you have a hub that's got keyway cut in it and you don't have a keyway on the axle? What you have on the axle is a quarter inch hole and no quarter inch hole on the hub. So there's no place to put a bolt in here. Well, this hub can be unbolted and removed and then I can get a drill bit in there. So we will take the valve stem out, get all the air out. Okay, then that piece comes out. Now we can put this on, find a position. I'm gonna go for that inside one. Okay, so that can be drilled now. It's actually a fairly tricky thing to get to drill a hole in here. You can't just you can't just eyeball it because it's not gonna. This one is more precision drilled right through right through the bisector of this circle. You can't just put a drill bit on there and expect it to line up with a with a hand drill.
I know what you're all thinking, right? Cutting oil. Why didn't he use cutting oil? Well, it's because I don't have my new shop quite that organized yet. I'll try to reuse that. Now we'll see if I got this accurate enough to go through all the way through. Yes! Look at that. All right, I'm gonna cut that, cut that plastic off. Man, I love that. I love that Milwaukee four inch grinder. That answers that, except our valve stem is gonna be on the inside. That's kinda, that's kinda goofy. You know what I could do? Was put this on the other way. Yeah, you know what? I gotta do that. that okay. valve stem. Let's get some air in the tire. I suppose what I can do is use this as a template so that I get those the same. This wheel is different from the other wheel. This has a hole drilled in it. Okay, so now the stinky fumes again. Let's get this, let's get this lined up. Switch with the other one, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be close enough. Okay. Harbor Freight sells these linchpin packs. Come on. Oh, uh, doesn't, okay. That doesn't quite want to fit. So let's try, yes. That's what it's gonna be right there. It's gonna be that pin. Right. Oh, this this follows wide. You know what though? For some reason on this axle, I gotta bend that with my fingers now. There's another hole drilled in here. I'm gonna use that one. I don't know why, but on this axle, there's three quarter inch, three holes drilled on this one. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be it right there. Quarter inch hole, the other one didn't. And look at the axles on each side because they're not necessarily the same either. So there we have it, track, Track to tire conversion. We need some air in that tire so it's not limping over to one side. Not bad. Wow, that's way easier to move around. You know, this chute is plastic on the Craftsman 523 and on the 825 it's all metal. And I'm going to switch out the chute because this one's been 
busted and epoxied. So I'm going to put this chute on. So let's see if that is a direct replacement. This is easier than that knob is a little too small. Yeah, this is easier to use. Yeah, we got it. We got it. 